right. I've been running around dirty with the uh, Plan C here the past two days. Yo, what's Whoa. going on, guys? Welcome to Chats of Osiris. We have Damn It the Hell on today. Damn it, how you doing, man? I'm doing amazing. How are you, sir? I am doing well. Psych, do you want to go ahead and get us going for trials? Got you. So, damn it, why don't we start off with how did your name come about? I gotta know. That was actually my, my question. I, I, a name like that has to have a story behind it. Yup. <laughs> um, it, it's actually, uh, it came out of frustration. Um, it's it's a name that I used back in the uh, the old AOL days. Um, but I was actually, I, I, it became my PSN name. I was trying to, to come up with names on uh, PSN back when you were able to, to play online with the PS2. And everything I chose was just, it wanted to put a number behind it. And I hate that shit. So um, out of frustration, after like 30 minutes of trying stuff, I just put in damn it to hell and it took it. And I was like, so I'm damn it to hell. Okay. <laughs> um, and it's funny because uh, Guardian Outpost asked me that question uh, about six months ago during the streamer spotlight. And then two days later, I watched um, the video about how butt wipe changed his name to Bandwipe and how he actually became Buttwipe and I was like, well, that's similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So, what got you into streaming? Damn it. Uh, I found Twitch not long after I started playing Destiny because I, I never played multiplayer games before. I was always the, uh, the campaign guy. And <clears throat> I was looking for videos on how to solo a Nightfall because it eluded me. Um, and I found this website called Twitch and uh, started watching people. I think the first person, uh, the first people I found were actually Lucky and Buttwipe, um, but they were doing all the multiplayer. So I watched them a little bit off and on and I'm stuck. Uh, <clears throat> so I just, I, I f figured out that there's a directory. So I found the Destiny directory and just started watching people. And um, watched for a long time. I met some cool people, and then I was just like, you know what? I feel like I play video games all the time anyway. Why not? Uh, why not share this? Uh huh. So it just you know, it became an outlet to to meet people and to to share what I was already doing in the evening anyway um, with a bunch of people who, for some reason, enjoy watching shitty gameplay and corny jokes. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mother. Uh. So, <laughs> so you played anything other than Destiny recently, or is it, is it all strictly Destiny for you? Uh, yeah, I've here lately have branched off into, um, oh, hello, branched off into Borderlands quite a bit. Um, got an Xbox about going on three weeks ago. The community bought me an Xbox, so we've been leveling up Destiny on that. Yeah, community's um, real nice like that. Yeah, I just try to keep the uh, keep the channel fresh because I know Destiny's in a bit of a a lull right now. So we don't do just Destiny. Uh, it's where my community was built. It's where my heart is. But they've been very uh, very accepting of any games that I've I've played and changed. Um, so it's it's been good. You know, the same people come back every day, and they don't care what I'm playing. So it's an awesome feeling when that starts to happen. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We won one. Good Yo, deal. we did something. <laughs> so, so damn it. Um, so, what kind of atmosphere do you like to to promote in your stream? Like, if someone were to jump in your stream for the first time, no idea who you are, what can they expect to find? You know, just jumping in. Um, really, just like a group of people that I feel like everybody in the chat, even if you've just come in for the first day and followed, I feel like. For the most part within 10 minutes you feel like you're a part of something because everybody's super chill in the stream i've got some great mods they they welcome everybody that comes in you know they they're tossing out channel currency um letting people know about the different games in the uh the new we've got in the stream and whatnot but it's i find more often than not that, that people come back you know, if they hit that follow button i typically see them again and that's to me that's paramount uh, especially when you get a, a, a big raid from somebody typically you get all those follows and then you never see those guys again because you know they're already part of the the channels community that they came in with 
So, I mean, I feel like if you can you can get somebody to come back after a raid and they hang out, and they become part of of what you are in your channel, that it's you know it's a pretty big deal. So, the biggest thing that my community promotes is uh, is family. You know, like a we're all like minded, just a bunch of goofballs and and, and potty mouths and perverts, really. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, and, the, and uh, you kind the, of the chat this up. morning. The chat this morning. It, it's nine times out of ten, it's either food or lewd in my chat for some reason. Sounds about right. And you kind of hit upon an important, uh, like an important aspect of streaming is good moderators. I'm gonna burn out. Oh yeah. Um, a good mod team can make or break a stream. Absolutely. So shout out to your <laughs> mods, clearly. Yeah, we were just getting destroyed. This is going well, guys. Yeah, I mean, we started coming back for a little bit there, but... For a little Hashtag bit. food or lewd, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stream motto, is it? Uh, apparently that just became a thing yeah yeah that's 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 gonna be your your stream like your your clan crest <laughs> food or lewd food or lewd i love yeah, it either either send me some pizza or a picture of boobs either ones work <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into destiny like what what got, what brought you to that game this game um well i wanted to play it I, I heard about it when it first came out but i didn't have a playstation at the time i was still um Oh, hello. Bye. I was was still rocking the uh, the PS2 for the most part. My kids and I were. Um, so I got a PS3 and I played for a while. And when Destiny came out, my, my Blu-ray drive was dead. Um, so it just it kind of sat on the back burner as one of those, you know, one day I'll try that. Um, I was in a, uh, a head-on collision about three years ago whenever the, the dust all that settled from oh, wow. that. I got a fairly, fairly nice settlement. So I went and bought myself a PS4 and a handful of games that have not been played since I discovered Destiny. <laughs> um, it's amazing how that happens. Yeah. Oh, that guy was, he was Arcblade, he's mad. Um, so I actually picked up Destiny. I didn't start playing until uh, December of 2014, right after the Dark Blow had come out. And you know, I, I went through as much of the story as I could and you know, did the uh, the strikes and stuff with the with the matchmaking and then decided you know i really want to to try to do some of this in-game stuff um so I, I picked up destiny as a digital download on uh on new year's eve i think there was a big sale i think i paid like 30 bucks for it um and, and just went in as this you know, not knowing what to expect just complete complete noob to the whole game had never played anything on that scale you know, again i was not a uh a multiplayer i may have had two friends on my on my friends list and they were ps3 friends at this time um <clears throat> so it was uh it was a it was a whole new experience you know, to just jump in and and say what's you know what's down this hallway okay why do these guys have question marks on them okay they just fucked me up let's go somewhere else you know <laughs> um but that's how i discovered i mean i, I had watched all the uh the trailers and had seen the the announcements for destiny and, and, and knew it, it looked like something that I wanted to be a part of, but I had no, no freaking clue whenever I first loaded this game up that it would consume the last three years of my life the way it has. Yeah, I don't think any of us were expecting it. Yeah, I know. I don't think so either. So what got you into gaming in general? What was your, what was your first taste of, uh, of gaming? Uh, my first taste of gaming was Asteroids on the Atari 2600. I'm an I'm an old guy. Old school. Ooh, I like yeah. it. I like it. I'm an old guy. And then so we were. I grew up poor. So the only games that I played up until I was, um, maybe 11 or 12 were the games that my friends had. Um, so I had a friend that had an Intellivision. I had a friend that had a 2600. And then he got the. Uh, the Atari 7800, which was just you know, the the biggest eye candy ever. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of progressed with them as they were, uh, as they got more stuff. Uh, my first ever console was the, uh, the original NES. And I remember seeing that in, uh, in Kmart. You know, I'm not sure if they have that. It's, it's not a thing on my side of the, the planet anymore, but I don't know if it was ever a thing where you guys live. Sider probably there. knows what Kmart is. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I remember Kmart. I remember Kmart. <laughs> it, it makes Walmart look high class. Oh yeah, yeah. Yup. So, <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time they they had the uh, the NES on display at Kmart, and I walked past it and was like, "Yo, what what is this?" 
and you know there's 30 kids lined up trying to play mario and i was like this is this is huge what is this and i remember you know i used to hate to go to the store with my mom because she was just she would look at everything in the whole entire store ever and buy nothing and i used to just hate you know, walking around in the store with nothing to do but uh from that moment on you know i, I wore that that nes out and uh begged and begged and begged got one for christmas and it was just kind of all downhill from there you know you got one of my orb uh coming up behind you with a looks like a no land oh should have had that <laughs> remember coleco vision i do the chat we are interviewing damn it to hell right now this is chats of osiris uh where we highlight up-and-coming content creators and personalities of the community. Uh, if you're watching this live, if you're in the chat, uh, and we're not answering you, I do apologize. We're, you know, this is also being recorded for YouTube. So hi, YouTube. Hi. Um, Make sure hi, you guys are hit that multi and checking out, uh, check out Damn It to Hell. Yep, everyone All in the chat info. hit the multi command. Make sure you're following Damn It to Hell. Make sure you're following me and Hamburglar, because we do this every week every week also all the links if you're watching this on youtube will be in the description below so you can find us there too as well as our twitters so you can we know when we go live you should definitely check out damn to hell first and Fuck, foremost so what was your first real like gaming addiction you, you said your first uh, consoles at nes was that where your your addiction really started you really wish wanted to game all the time or were you ever like that um i mean for the first time i played a game yeah, you know, back whenever I played Asteroids, he was like, you know, this is, this is kind of silly. You know, what is this? Um, and of course, you know, back then that was those graphics were amazing. It was like you, nobody's ever seen squares that look like that before. Yeah. You know? So, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was kind of hooked from there. And then your chat says, "Remember ColecoVision?" I do. I remember the first <laughs> time I saw Pac-Man look <clears throat> like I remember Pac-Man looked in the arcade, oh, um, man. where you know, he actually face the direction of the dots he was eating instead of just like taking them into his head or his butt you know so, uh, for those of you that remember atari 2600 pac-man he, he never changed the way he was facing he's absolute yeah so you said you <laughs> was you said you've got kids have you gotten them into uh gaming as well every single one of my kids uh are are now or have at some point been a gamer uh, three of them still are. I have um, I have a grown daughter who is uh, 23 years old. She plays. Uh, she does a lot of um, Nintendo DS stuff. It's kind of her thing these days. Yeah, most um, of the youngins are into the handheld hey, consoles. Youngins, his daughter's a year younger than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck. Um, well, then I have a 21 year old son who's who's still on Xbox all the time. He plays a lot of the the sports ball games. He plays sports Madden. Yeah, he's, he's like sports ball. We should probably uh, swing far left on this. They seem to be driving middle pretty hard. Yeah. yeah damn it, is old. Thank you, Chat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, my two youngest, uh, ten and thirteen, play Destiny with me. Um, they they've been involved in it about as long as I have. Um, they don't get to play it as much as I do. One just recently got a PS4, and we're prepping him for his first first ever raid, uh, as well as my thirteen year old. So that's that's going to be some stuff that happens in stream. Uh, my ten-year-old and I two Fridays ago did our first stream together, where we played some uh, some Lego Marvel superheroes. That was a good time. Um, and he was he was super nervous. And about ten minutes later, he got used to the camera. And I was like, "You're definitely your dad's son," <laughs> um, because he just he went went ham on the microphone. I was like, "Dude, I need you to chill out a bit," because. Uh, you're still in my limelight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're going to follow, uh, follow for your son next. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's already said, you know, this is going to be what I, I want to do this. He's like, why'd you, why'd you start doing this so late? I was like, well, I love you too, child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like Twitch's only been around for like half of their lives. Really? Yeah, right. <laughs> so do they I watch a lot of streams? old school Game Boy somewhere. Yeah, they watch a lot of streams, uh, watch a lot of YouTube. Um, I have to, it's, it's, it's tough to moderate what they watch because, you know, this day and age, they've all got freaking tablets and, uh, and, and stuff that they, 
there's so many mediums for them to watch mm -hmm. um, potentially inappropriate uh, content and stuff. So, dude, OG Pokemon on the Game Boy was my jam. All right, <laughs> I've kind of accepted the fact play, that um, I've kind of accepted the fact that they're going to to run into stuff. And I was like, you know, you're going to hear things. Just don't go out there and repeat the crap that you hear because then you know, we'll have problems. But my 10-year-old my loves Lucky and Butt Wife. He watches them all the time. Um, he watches um, a lot of Minecraft streamers, really, which is I'm good with because most of those guys are you know, fairly good guys when it comes to the, uh, the language and whatnot. So, uh, damn it, I'm curious. Um, we've been talking a lot about gaming and a lot about, you know, just games in general. But I'm curious, what, what do you do outside of gaming and streaming? Like, what what hobbies outside of this world do you have? Um, it, it's it's going to sound really sad, but these days I really don't have any hobbies. Uh, work consumes four 12-hour days of my life. Uh, the other three, I've got my kids, and in the evenings, I'm on Twitch. So, I mean, I guess my hobby would be, you know, Twitch. Um, <laughs> I, I used to I used to be all about technology. You know, I was always reading about and trying out new gadgets and stuff, and that's just kind of escaped me, especially since I've gotten deeper into Twitch and building my community. Um, I'm the, uh, the proverbial... Uh, um, hermit, you know, I, I go to work, yeah. I come home. If somebody knocks on the door, I'm like, What do they want? Go away! <laughs> Just kissing like, at the door. I'm like two years away from get off my grass. Are you kidding me? I'm I'm almost 33 and I'm already like that. <laughs> I literally yelled at a bunch of kids to get off my damn lawn the other day. Like, oh, I'm not even making that oh up. my god, why didn't you pair school but somebody else can make fun of me? <laughs> Damn it, Hammy, I was drinking. chess, and they came and knocked his chess board over. <laughs> they steal your rocking chair, too, off the front porch? <laughs> it's not a rocking chair. It's a glider. It's a glider. It's, it's <laughs> one of those camping fold-out chairs. <laughs> I mean, I've got one of those on my back porch, so... No judgment here. <laughs> Throw I go and get my nicotine intake. Your Wi-Fi is to get off my lawn. <laughs> get off my land. <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, you both have rain chips? Fuck you guys. <laughs> I put mine on just for you. Oh! Damn. Oh, <laughs> man. You know what? I got the Vienna Singer, though, so at least it's... That's okay. something, right? Oh, fuck you. Man. That's actually a funny story. I pissed off a lot of people when I got that. Because I got that my... The first week that ship was available. And the first try I went to the rain. Into that strike. Or that story mission. Yeah. It was the first thing that it was the first time it dropped for me. First week it was available, and everyone was like, "How the fuck did you get that?" I was like, "I didn't even know it was an option. Like, I just started playing Destiny." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you've been around Twitch a while now. Who would, uh, what streamer would you say has influenced you the most Hi. on as as your streams? Uh, definitely Guardian Outpost. Um, he has been. Uh, an influence to me as, as well as um, just a lot of the people in his community, you know, um, almost everybody in the network has, um, has influenced me in some way or another, um, just with, you know, how they, oh, hello, <clears throat> I forgot I'm not a warlock anymore, how they, you know, how they, how they interact with their chat, um, their overall demeanor and attitude while streaming. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> thanks. So, I mean, it's just, <laughs> that, that that's carry, kind of man. where I get my inspiration is uh, is from Guardian, Guardian Outpost. Um, there's a lot of streamers that I'm fans of, but um, I don't know. There's just something something about the guy that, that clicked with me. Dave's a good guy. He's a really nice guy. I love him to death. He is also a 10 out of 10 hug giver. Oh, oh uh, I trust uh, Not if he has a beard in his hand. Don't trust him if he's got a beard in his hand. He hugged me. Oh, I mean, that's a different before. story. Well, you think so, but he hugged me with beard in his hand and spilled it all over the floor. Well, that kind of worked out. Jesus, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Guardian. <laughs> that worked. Shit. Yeah. All right. So do you also say Guardian is your favorite streamer, or do you have 
have a different favorite streamer that you just enjoy watching? He is, yeah, he is the the stream. His stream is the one I spend the most amount of time in. Um, and it was it was a pretty big deal for for him to have asked me to to be on his channel for the for the sub Sunday deal. Just um, the the fact that he said, "Hey, you know, what are you doing next Sunday? I want you to be on my channel." Was like, like really? Um, so it's, it's kind of like you pop into somebody's chat that you, you, you like and they're they're talking about you and it's it's good things and they don't even know you're there is um is is pretty cool you know it's i, I would like oh, it i oh guess to God. uh to a, to an actor or actress you know, being complimented by their mentor or something so um because i i watched uh i watched geo for a little while before i decided to start streaming um i had done maybe six streams off of my playstation just dabbling with it and um he was kind of the one that made me realize you know you, you can do this you if nothing else you know, you'll meet some people to play games with so yeah why not yeah that's ah, really cool so what's one odd fact about you that maybe not a lot of people know something that even your community would be surprised about if anything um wow that is an excellent question I'm gonna need a minute on that. An odd fact about Damn It to Hell. Um, Fuck. I mean, I feel like I'm fairly transparent. Ooh. God damn it. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I'm really thinking about an answer makes him go ham on trials. Keep thinking. <laughs> Yo, he carried to hell today. <laughs> carried to hell. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm pretty transparent. Um, we talk about anything and everything on my channel. You know, how my day at work was to, you know, my ex-wife and you know, situations with the kids and there's there's really no no punches held with the chat. So I don't know. Everybody knows about my obsession with pizza. So I mean, I really don't know. Restless. Oh, he is he's absolute. He's also tethered me. Ugh. <laughs> He's going for. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Fields, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Um, I mean, th there's nothing really unusual about me. I'm s obsessed with music. I'm obsessed with pizza. I'm obsessed with my community. Um, I'm hella OCD. <laughs> Just, there's nothing really. I don't know. I I'm going to have to pass on that, Alex. All right. <laughs> All right. I fair enough. That's fair. All right. I mean, if I you're feel just like, joining us, like, chat. If you're just joining us chat, we're going to bring Damn It to Hell on Chats of Osiris right now. Be sure to hit uh, the multi-command in any of the chats. Make sure you're following both myself and Hammy and our interviewee, Damn It to Hell. If you're on YouTube watching this, the links are in the description. Hmm. Mm -hmm. bad about the fusion rifle. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I would be too. All right, so. <laughs> favorite class and subclass in Destiny? Um... Here lately, I'm doing a lot of PvP just because there's nothing to do in the PVEs. Mm -hmm. So Night Stalker Hunter really is that's that's all I I main in PvP. I'm a big fan of the Warlock. I love Void Walker. Um, but I mean, overall, I probably got the most time at this point in the Hunter. But every every class has got its its usefulness. But I have I have a love for all the characters. Really, I'm not I'm not the guy that goes yo. Blah 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 master class because it's not a thing, you know, to me anyway. Oh, that was a really good tether. Oh, I couldn't charge it quick enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not an interesting guy, really. I, I, oh. I'm amazed every day that people continue to come back to the stream and, <laughs> and to see what I'm doing because I think that's a common thing. feeling with most content creators. If somebody somebody asks me a question, you know, unless it's something about my kids. Um, I'm typically going to answer it with 100% honesty. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that know a lot of things about me that they, they probably shouldn't know and they even wish they don't know, but... Took down the arc blade, um, you're welcome. Okay, you did it. Come on, Bobby. Here you go. There's one more arcade against the Rias. Did, you get, did your tethers hit each other? What the <laughs> shit just happened? <laughs> That's amazing. I have never, 
Not only did both tethers hit each other, but then you were both tethered in each other's tethers. That was incredible. That was interesting. I wish I'd have been watching that. That was silly as shit. Oh, man. My tether's better than your tether. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, okay, since you started streaming, what is the most mind-blowing thing that has happened in your stream or to your stream that even, like, still, you just, you look back and you're just like, wow, I can't believe that happened. Um, I'd have to say the Grenader Jake raid, to be honest, you know. Um, and Ooh, the fact yeah, that, that. The, the fact that so many of those people have, have found a second home here when Jake's not streaming. You know, and that just goes back to, you know, when you get raided and th those people decide to come back. That's just huge to me. Um, one of which um, is, is now a mod for my channel. Um, he, he found us in the raid and has been here every single stream, every minute from start to finish since. Um, he's the biggest reason why we have the uh, the Xbox right now. He's just been an insane supporter. No disrespect to any of my mods or any of the community, but he just like came out of nowhere and has been here ever since. And it's just things like that, you know, whenever somebody comes in and they say, you know what, this guy's, this guy's cool. I think I'll come back and check him out, you know? Always or, a good feeling. Yeah, so I mean, it's like I, I did something right. I go back and watch my my vods, not because I'm vain, but I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm doing. It's it's that people want to come see it every day, and all I can figure is just because I die. Well, I I look at it as uh, you know like a foot you know a football team going over videos of past games. It's not a, a vain or, or a vanity thing. It's figuring out what you did right, figuring out what you could do better. Yeah, look at your that. So I'm down with it. What are your your expectations with your stream? Where do you where do you want to see your stream grow into and become? Um, and and Geo asked me this uh, Thursday. It's it's obviously you know the the same question or the same answer any serious streamer is going to have is you know, the overall goal is going to be partnership. But I remain. And I have to keep myself in check sometimes, but I, I remain true to the reason this channel was started. And that was to to meet people to play games with. So, I mean, as long as I can continue to play games every day and hang out with amazing people, you know, if partnership never comes, then I'm fine with that. I've got a job. Um, I'd love to be partnered. I'd love to do this full time and not have to go to Amazon every day and, and babysit kids. But um as long as I can continue to turn this stream on every day and people want to hang out and they want to play games with me or they just want to say, hey, you know, I'm I'm on the way to get my hair cut, but I just wanted to stop in and say, hey, have a good day, have a good stream, then I feel like I've accomplished something. Alright. That's awesome. So, if you had to give out any few shout outs to probably your your longest or your biggest supporters of stream who would who they have to be viewers mods other streamers who, um who's that been would there be, since almost day one uh that would be mm, bacon and ff player they were my first two followers back whenever i, I did my first potato yeah, well, stream up there um they they came and they've been here ever since um and of course shout out to all my mods new and old um, they can't all be here every day because you know, IRL, but, but um, just the fact that they they were given a sword and they didn't unmod themselves is pretty cool. Oh, I totally shade stepped out of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yo, Donkey in the Woods, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, M Bacon and AFF have been here since day one, and. Um, uh, I've, I've been a big supporter as, as, as Bacon as I can because you know, he does the stream thing as well. Um, uh -huh. He's had questions and you, a lot of people ask questions. That's another thing um, that I enjoy. You, a lot of streams you go into and somebody will say, hey, you know, you know my stream, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, most streams you go into, people get timed out immediately. Um, my mods are pretty chill with that because I've received so much help and stuff along the way that it, I'd be an asshole not to help back. So when somebody comes into the stream and asks questions like that, you know, we'll we'll put forth an expectation of, you know, I'll answer your questions, just maybe wish for them next time. If it doesn't come across like, hey, I'm trying to get some some notice to my stream, 
then I'll answer all your questions. So um, I, that's a little bit of a different approach I take. Uh, I know there's at least uh, two of my mods that, that it drives crazy that I allow that to happen, but um, it, it's it's okay. You know, it's it's not hurt me in any way. And if I can help the, I'm not the guy who's like, no, no, look at me, look at me. You know, there's a lot of times where my stream, we've ended up and we've gone and raided somebody. And then, you know, two days later, I pop into their stream and there's you know, four or five of my people watching. I don't get upset about that. I'm, I'm happy that I've somehow you know, shared somebody else for them to look at when I'm not streaming or even when I am streaming. So I'll answer any questions. I'm in no, no shape or form an expert yeah. at this, but I'm more than willing to share what I've learned and what's uh, what's uh, worked for me. I normally have seven to eight tabs open at all times for Twitch when I'm at my computer. Uh -huh. I, I never just watch one streamer because there's way too many good people to support to just watch one at a time, you know? Yeah, well, I've, if, if they had meters on the bandwidth usage at work, I would have been fired a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> because I've, I've always got at least 10 tabs open. That's awesome. But especially this time of the year, you know, I'm actually, oh shit, spike grenade. Oh. I mean, I'm actually able to you know, bounce in and out of those channels. I just jumped right into that spike grenade. I'm, I'm actually able to bounce you know, in and out of the chats this time of the year because it's slow and mm -hmm. talk to the people and meet their communities and get to know about them, which is, which is a good time. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, you can, you can grow from that, but overall you get to know who your peers are. Absolutely. It's a good way to look at it. All right, so we are going to open it up to chats now. All three, if you've got a question that you want to hear, or okay, you want to ask. Uh, I, have a, I have a question from a, one of my moderators already. Oh, yeah? Uh, this is from Music 88 Damn it to hell. What would you rather fight, 32 10-year-olds or 10 32-year-olds? 10 32-year-olds. Why? Because I, because I feel like their knees are probably weak, and I could at least take out five of them. <laughs> the uh, the ten year olds are going to be all over your ass before you can say Teddy Grams. Plus, um, there's just more of them. Like, it's kind <laughs> yeah, of they're everybody. swarm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I would liken that to taking a stick and knocking a beehive off of a tree branch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck have I done? Yeah, see, I have kids around that age, and if I got attacked by thirty two of them, oh yeah, I'd be done. <laughs> My chat's, my chat's tell, uh, saying to call you damn it, Shell, and that you love it. <laughs> and they know you that love it. That only happens. Yeah, that, that only happens whenever I'm part of whoever a Guardian Outpost is raided. For whatever reason, a Guardian Outpost raid will weaken the streamer's eyes so that it looks like my name is Damn It Shell. <laughs> I've been, I've been, it's the only time it's ever happened. I've been Damn It Shell and I've been Damn It To Shell. And like, oh, that 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 two looked like an S. And I was like, well, you said, damn it, two shell. But <laughs> it's a good time. It's a good time. I got grumpy drunken in my chat right now, calling me damn it, shell. Yep, that's right. it's, in my chat. <laughs> and it's it, it it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. You know, it was it was it was a, a WTF moment when it first happened. But then it, it's just one of those things. Like my, I kind of love you, but don't tell nobody. It just something that happened and took off. So I just I go with that stuff because. When your uh, when your community can find something that they can connect with you with, whether it's it's ridiculous or humiliating, you go with it. I'm I'm fine with it, man. Yeah, yeah I love you too, Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and damn it, Bennett, right, Kalo? I'm always uh, I'm damn it, Bennett, more times than I've, I've <laughs> care, care to admit. That's awesome. Oh. I uh, pop into uh, to James Works channel, and he still I don't think is is definitely sure that. Uh, I'm not damn it, Bennett. So, but, but it's cool. It's incredible. Yes, yeah. so, I mean his 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 beard is is far better than mine. I oh, I remember what it was like to have a beard. Yeah, you'll get you'll get back there eventually, babyface. It's all right. Uh, so we got another question in my chat from uh, Putty Chat, uh, who says, "I want to know if there is ever a feeling of discouragement of follow follower viewer count stalls out of what keeps you going." Um, for a while is, there was. Is, I, I'm going to preface this. This is a very sensitive topic with a lot of content creators. And a lot of different con content creators approach it a lot differently. So, how do you, how do you approach it? Um, I am of the, of the belief that if I'm looking at how many people are in my chat, 
then I'm, I'm doing my chat, the people that are actually there a disservice. Because the people, whether it's five people or, or 50 people, they came there for a reason. Either their favorite streamer wasn't on, and they're like, well, I guess I'll watch that damn it guy. <laughs> or, you know, in, in, in some form or another, we've, we've made a connection, either through a game, we've played together, whatever the case may be. So I do not dwell on how many people are in my chat. I actually get frustrated when someone comes in and say we've been raided and they're like, holy crap, damn it, you've got 200 people in here. So, you know, I'm aware that there's a lot of people in here, but the number doesn't matter. If there's two people, if there's 200 people, it all goes back to, am I having a good time? Yep. Um, so there was there was a period where, yes, I, I did dwell on that and I would get discouraged. And I was like, you know, what am I doing wrong? Why doesn't nobody want to watch me? Especially in the beginning, whenever you know, you're, you're trying to get those one or two viewers to even come in to begin with. Um, and you, you hit that, uh, sh sh fuck it, this is just isn't for me, you know, nobody likes me, I'm a terrible person. Um, so I went through a few weeks of that, and once I got over that and stopped dwelling on who wasn't here instead of who was here, the channel started to grow and we started to have a lot more fun. Yep. I, I, I believe we brought it up last week when we had Impulse and Flower on. Uh, but one of the best pieces I, uh, of advice I ever got was from Evil Aura, who himself is, is probably looking at partnership here soon. Um, expect no one, appreciate everyone. Exactly. That's actually really if solid you, advice. Yeah, like, if you go into it expecting all these viewers and expecting this, that, and the other, it's, it's not going to work out well for you. You know, but if you go into it with the mentality of I'm just going to have fun, I'm going to enjoy it, I'm going to have fun with and appreciate everyone who comes out. Because, you know, I made that rookie mistake once upon a time. You know, I was, I, I would always, and it showed on stream, I would always stress about if we lost a follower while on stream, if we, uh, if we lost viewers while on stream. And it used to, like, visibly affect my mood. So, it's good that you, that you have that mentality because there are too many oh. streamers who don't yeah and i mean it, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of silly to me to to dwell on that because like i said for a long time and you know in 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 twitch terms a long time is just you know a month or so um but for a long time you know i, I questioned you do i need to do this okay i know if if i get a if i get a pc and i get a capture card then people will come, you know, they'll it'll automatically happen. It's the whole, you know, the Kevin Costner mentality. If you build if it, you they'll build, come. Yeah, the field of dreams um, mentality. So the reason I decided to go with the, 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 the stream that I use now was because I wanted to have fun with it. And I felt like <clears throat> I would have more fun if I felt more polished. Um, and that was actually not true because I, I got all the stuff, you know, I got the, the laptop and the capture card and the monitors and the lights and I you know, made it as professional on the cheap as I could and, and was still like I've only got a hundred followers why you know, why is it this happening yeah you know, this is stupid I'm just gonna quit this and I mean I don't know something just clicked and I'm like you know why did you start doing this to begin with dumbass you know you're, you're still meeting one or two people every once in a while you're still playing with those people so just keep doing that and uh, you know, eventually, it sunk in, and yep. we, we started playing and started having fun. And you know, s six months ago, well, seven months ago, <clears throat> uh, what was it July the 29th, I believe? I did my first streamer spotlight with Guardian Outpost, and uh, had 180 followers at the time. And uh, here we are, almost to 1,600. So I mean, I haven't figured out what I'm doing, but I'm just going to keep doing it. I don't. I don't sit there and think about what I'm going to do before stream. I probably should. I don't have a, a format or anything. I just, I come home, I turn everything on, I hit start stream and what happens, happens. Um, I feel like I should probably be a bit more organized, but then again, I'm like, you know, what if I, what if I am organized and it just falls all to hell? That's maybe that's what the people like is that I'm just, you know, yeah, so and, random. And and there's no magic formula that's going to guarantee success on Twitch in any form or fashion. Oh my god, no. Not even like, I, like, so many people, um, and one of the, one of the most often complaints I see, especially, in, you know, in other chats or on Twitter or whatever, is, 
if a big streamer would just notice me and raid me and this, that, and the other, then I'd make it. No, that's absolutely incorrect. That is absolutely. I'd, I have been raided by the biggest streamer in the Destiny directory. Let that sink in for a minute. Two of them, actually. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah, the top two. Rated by the whole, the whole freaking world's first team, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Be being noticed by the big guys will in no way guarantee success of any measure. Because let's break this down, okay? I'll, I'll give you the numbers on it. All right? When I was raided by a certain streamer whose name rhymes, rhymes with uh, Frothalian. <laughs> uh, the host that came through was about 3,900 people. Of 3,900 people watching, I saw 150 follows. 150, guys. Mm -hmm. Of those 150, 80 of them dropped off over the course of two weeks. Yeah. And of the people who stuck around in chat, I had two people who are now regular members of my community. Now, I appreciate every single person who is a part of my community, whether they are whether they're day one, whether they came through a raid, it came through whatever. But that right there illustrates a raid by no means guarantees success. No, success I mean, has it, to come from you. Yeah, and that's what I've had people tell me. They're like, nobody nobody comes to my chat, you know? And it's like, the thing is, and, and you'll hear any streamer tell you this, you know, you got to, you can't just be sitting there like a lump playing the game. There's, there's nobody in my yep. chat, so. You gotta have some type of entertainment value, unless you're just fucking, you know, 360 no scope MLG 420 blaze it game player. <laughs> you're 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 not gonna have somebody come in and see you not being interactive, even with yourself, like an insane person, and sit there for any amount of time. You're like, you know, this is boring. I could I could be doing this myself. Um, and you know, going back to the the follow things, you know, whatever I was in that period of, you know, this is stupid. Why am I even doing this? I would look. I would get up and say holy shit there's three less people following me and i would sit there and seriously try to go through my list and figure out who it was that unfollowed me and it consumed me it was like yeah what did i do you know they who, who is it why <laughs> yeah you want to you want to win them back but i mean unless you're just putting on a stellar show whenever you get raided chances are they're not going to come back um, and, and one and of, that's one why of my, one of my moderators just brought up a fantastic point that I've never heard before, but Stash, this is going to become part of my mantra. Building a community works 100% better than being given a community. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, holy shit, yes. Yeah, that's actually really solid. Yeah, like, it... it it, it is better to just build slowly because I've seen too many communities where, and I can, I can, like, I could go down the directory and name names of people who grew too fast and the wrong way. And while they did get partnered, they're, they've been partnered for a long time now and have seen no success because literally after the partnership, community just disappeared. Yeah, because, because their they didn't, community they didn't put the were work built in. off of being raided. They didn't take the time to build a community that they all they did was a mass follows. That's it. There is a huge difference. Yeah. So then, you can usually tell those people, you know, because you go into their channel. There's 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 several people, and I would definitely not name any names, but there's a lot of people that I'm fans of that I follow and whose streams that I frequent that have you know six, seven, eight thousand followers. And they've got four people watching them and it's like how did you where did it go wrong for you you know did you change games too many times did you you know are those purely follower uh, raid followers you know, what's what's going on and those are the people that i that i watch intently and try to try to piece apart you know what they're doing that i feel like is not appealing to me and then not do that you know? <laughs> yeah so i got a question for you if you had to give one piece of advice to a person who's interested in streaming, what would it be? Be yourself. Just be who you are. 
um, I have a friend who started streaming about the same time I did, and he was one of those that uh, that, that kind of popped up really quick. You know, he got a few lucky raids and was um, he, he had a persona about him. And whenever um, whenever that kind of became hard for him to keep up, or like he started not not holding that persona, it, it's people that had followed him and watched it because of that were like, well, this is this is silly. So, you know, if you're going to come up with a gimmick, like, uh, let's say, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, he plays a lot of H1Z1. Anyway, he's a, he, he wears a, 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 a mullet and a mustache, and he's kind of top quality stream, but he keeps that that gimmick from the start of stream to the end of it, and the people eat it up. So, I mean, if, unless you're going to make a gimmick and commit to it, just be yourself. Um, and have fun because if you're playing a game just to play it because you know the, the, the game's getting followers or the game's got viewers if you're not enjoying the game the, the people watching you're going to pick up on it they're, they're going to know you even with me with destiny and the crucible i fucking suck but i have a good time and the people can see that i think um so i mean i would never play call of duty because i know i would hate it <laughs> i don't care if they were 500 million people in the directory yeah dr disrespect thank you rick um, I would not, um, I would not play a game that I did not enjoy, because it's just not going to work out. I don't think. So, you just be yourself. All overall, I got to say, is going to be the best advice, and and don't do stupid things like I just did there. Yeah, I, I was right behind you, man. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, and, and I can't agree more with that. It's you have to be having fun with whatever you're playing because if you're not it's gonna show like you're on a face cam all right you are not in control of your facial expressions and your mood and your mindset every second of the stream you're just not and if yeah. you're not having fun with the game they're gonna notice and they're gonna want to be somewhere that's res. not there he's on their bodies so get the res. yeah he's ah. getting both reses they're both in that room at the party room. Uh, my character oh, That's amazing. Uh, Sykes. Oh wow. My res is clear. Never mind. Yeah, my my cap card froze. <laughs> I was trying to fix that and like not get killed at the same time. Oh, Silly. Shit. Um. So I mean, it, that's it, at the end of every day, at the beginning of every stream, it all falls down to: Am I gonna have fun? Did I have fun? And if I did, then nothing changes. If I didn't, I look at why. You know, was it, did I have a bad day in the game? Did you know, did we have trolls in the chat? You know, what was the issue? What caused it? How do I fix it? Does it mean, anybody that knows, anybody who's played Crucible with me offline knows that I am that. A, a decent yep. bit better than I am on stream. And that's because I'm all about my chat. Um, you know, with the exception of the raids, all I do is read chat, you know. Mm -hmm. And that didn't work well. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still by no means you know, top tier player, but no, because, not because not yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all about my chat because they're why I'm here. So, are there any last questions for uh, for anyone in chat? Anything you want to? You want to ask them to hell any deep dark secrets you think he might he might have? Maybe he's not so transparent once you get to ask him the right questions. I mean, yeah, you mean you may ask the question and find out something that I didn't even know. <laughs> oh, why are you alive, sir? Yeah, the same goes for my chat. Was fragging in the chat today? Did she make it vulgar? Should today be the day I ban her? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, she was in the chat, she did make it vulgar, and that is why I'm not banning her. So there you go. Food or loot? <laughs> yep. Food or loot. Actually, really good you, should, you should absolutely incorporate that saying into your branding. Make a yep. shirt. I, I feel like that's going to be uh, on the welcome, the starting soon screen pretty soon. Nice. Nice trade. Oh, he's going to get the reses. He's on our he's I was waiting for him to push me. Nice. nice. Good shit. Where did he hear Destiny from? He just saw it and uh, picked up 
picked up the game, I think is what he said, right? Yeah, I had seen all the, uh, you know, back in 2012, I had seen all the uh, the announcements and the uh, the hype for it, um, but had to sleep on it because I, didn't, I had a, a, a non-functioning Blu-ray drive in the old PS3, so when I bought the PS4, it was one of the games that I picked up uh, digitally. Um... Hello, sir. Can I? <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, his clan name is her Bathesty, really? Can you tell Hammy, fuck you, Ham? Kappa no Kappa. <laughs> J-Dog says, uh, fuck you, Ham. Uh, Sir Stash says, I do have a question. How would you get out of a slump, for example, I've been out of streaming for about a month and a half, and it killed any growth I had? Any advice? Mm, well, I mean, I stream seven days a week, so I've not... The longest period I've had without a stream since uh, since July was the two times that my internet was down for five days. And I mean, it it, it honestly, it, it kind of killed me a little bit inside because I depend on my stream so much. I feel like I depend on them more than they depend on me, you know, with the whole schedule. And you're at seven o'clock, let's go watch Damn It. Um, so just not having, because I mean, I share my life with the people. You know, if I had a bad day at work, we talk about it on stream. If I had a good day, we talk about it and why. Um, so I really can't speak to that you know, just from not having the experience of it. But I mean, I've, I've come back both times after those five days with just, you know, full of gusto. And luckily, I guess it just wasn't long enough for people to go, you know, in the, it, as big as Twitch is for me to get lost yet. Um, people like Ramez, who was gone for an extended period of time and in VO, I don't know how they do it. You know, they just come right back and everybody's just like, give me more. They built um, up those, those good communities. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That has to do with building up a community enough to the point where you can take an extended break, but as long as you're still like maintaining like uh, like a social media presence, like Vio and Ramez were, mm -hmm. um, you'll still have a very successful, you know, return stream whenever you do come back. And Vio was having she was still having movie nights in her Discord and hanging out in voice chat with her with anybody yeah. who wanted to come and join. So like yeah. she was still active with her community, which which helped her out a lot. So JT wants to know, you can only eat one type of pizza from here on. What kind is it? Um, taking my kids into consideration, I would just have to go with plain old pepperoni because that's what they're about. And I'm not going to be the guy sitting there eating the shit out of some meat lovers. And they're like, really, Dad? Ramen again? <laughs> so I would go because even the worst pizza I've ever had is still pizza. Yeah. yeah I mean, unless it's got pineapples on it. Hey, you know what? There's a conversation about again. pineapples in my chat right now. <laughs> Pine ham and pineapple pizza, or you know what? Ham, pineapple, and black olive pizza. Ice it's amazing. Though. Damn. All right, I have one more question, Dan Pell. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. <laughs> well, a sandwich? I mean, yeah. I've. I've never even thought about it like that, but I mean, my first response was no. It's a fucking hot dog, you know. <laughs> no, not, not just the meat. The meat inside the bun. Yeah, I mean, I would have to say no. I would not consider that a. Maybe by traditional purposes, I mean, because you could consider. Technically, a hoagie is in a hot dog bun, and it's a sandwich, I guess. So are sub sandwiches there? Sort of the same thing. Um, yeah. So by that. By that standard, I guess, yeah, a hot dog is a sandwich. I mean, you're kind of, I never thought about that. Now I have to go question same. everything I believe in kind of way. <laughs> I win. All right, you so are... I got two questions out of my, my chat's really active with questions right now, actually. I love it. Um, Death Scythe asks, uh, how are you able to manage your work life, streaming, and home life? Ooh. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I set a schedule for streaming. Um, so I stream, I, I set that schedule with what works for my working schedule. Um, I am unfortunately only have my kids on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So Thursday and Friday, I stream during the day while they're at school. Um, Saturday, I take them home. I stream afterwards. Um, the only time, wow, guys, the only time I stream <laughs> is when, the only time I'm gaming is when I'm streaming. So I didn't have to manage that. Um, like the conversation that uh, you and I and Rec had on Twitter the other day, it did kind of affect um, my clan taking that mentality um, because you know, a lot of people felt left out. But I mean, it's for me, it's it's my kids, 
my stream and in my job. Um, I love my job. I'm grateful for it, but the only thing my I job does is give me stress, really. So, <laughs> um, I mean, kids give you stress. That's the. <laughs> That's yeah, the they, they do, but I mean, it's going to be something that in a few years, I'm like, I wish those fuckers would come over here and stress me out for a little while, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know, for me, I guess because I, I have no social life, really, it's not been that big of a deal to to, to, to juggle everything. I don't feel about it. Twitch is my social life. Yeah. So, I mean, yep. it's, it's like, I... Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a sad thing. It's not like... Uh, Oh, I have I have plenty of friends. They just happen to not live around here. Yeah, you just see them every now and then and get really drunk and black out at oh Destiny Con. So you know what? We don't speak about that. <laughs> 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 you know, they just asked the other day if a hot dog was a sandwich. All right. Uh, I have another question from uh, Tauranor or Tauraknor. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> Either way, I. Uh, and I, I feel this is a, a fantastic question because a lot of people, I feel, don't start streaming because they don't have a certain piece of equipment. He asks, is it okay to stream without a camera to try it out first? Absolutely. I, I agree that that is perfectly okay. Because, I mean, look at um, look at uh, SC Slayer Age. Yep. Um, that's the first person that comes to mind. Um, there are people... And sometimes I'm one of them, admittedly. I hate to be that guy, but it's just you know, what appeals to me. There are sometimes where I will not watch someone who doesn't have a camera, only because I am I'm wanting that that interaction. You know, I want to say something funny and see if they roll their eyes or if they're like this motherfucker. Um, but absolutely, you can you can you can build a community um, of any size with, without a camera, especially if you're a good player. Uh, or if you're a good commentator, and you know, a combination of both is going to go a long way. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's there's a couple of people that stream straight from their PlayStation with no camera, and they are partnered streamers that have you know, 15, 1,800 people watching them at any given time. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, also, keep in mind streamers like Lyric and Versus the Stream. Do uh, not use base cams. Moon Moon, yep. Admiral Baru. There's... Yeah, Baru. Tons of people do not use face cams. Starting without cam and the building anticipation for face reveal is, yeah, no, that's a fantastic thing to, like, build hype for a Yeah, that token guy. <laughs> token was I, one of the few people, admittedly, that I watched um, regularly that didn't have a camera. He, he fit into a very small group of those people only because his voice mesmerized me. Yep. I, I like to just imagine what he looked like. That token voice. Yeah. Yeah, this I'm like this is one sexy some bitch, um, and it was funny because his his voice was so well recognized. I did not realize I had heavy that whenever I heard him speak at uh, at DCC, uh-huh. I was like, I know who you are immediately. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean, absolutely, you can. Uh, I've I've never streamed without a camera, but I've just based on what I've seen, I believe you can absolutely build something without a camera. Yeah, I think I did three streams for my PlayStation without a camera before I went out and bought the PlayStation camera mm-hmm. when I was still console streaming. Yeah, well, mine, whenever I bought my PS4, it came with the camera, so I already had it. Oh, there you go. So, so that's why um, I've not done one without. <sighs> oh, shit. How far can you go down the streaming road only from streaming from a PlayStation or Xbox? Uh, Kingbox, are you talking about in terms of like partnership? You can go getting away, partnered. Man. I mean, there are plenty of console streamers who are partnered. Versus Craft- the stream, Typhoon, Trav. Real Crafty got partnered streaming only console. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And Real Crafty is one of the biggest names in the directory. So, I mean, the answer to that question is how far can you go as far as you're willing to, to take it? You know, if you're willing to put in the work to get there. Just keep in mind, it is actually work. Oh, yeah. Like, so many people, like, when I try to explain to people what I do on Twitch and what I'm trying to build and what I'm trying to drive for, they're like, you're trying to play video games for a living? Man, that's easy. I should just do that. And I just want to smack them. <laughs> you know what? Um, it's What's what's funny about that is um, whenever I told my mother what I was was doing in my spare time, you because know, she's you know, she's my mother and she's like, you know, why aren't you dating anybody? You know, why are you 
why aren't you doing anything? Um, it yeah. was basically, um, you know, I'm, I've been playing video games on this, uh, this service called Twitch, and uh, people come and watch me, and, and we, we talk to each other, and blah, 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 and she was like, the, the answer I expected was, you're, you're 42 years old. Why the hell are you playing video games? And her response was, you've always been really good at video games, so that makes sense. Are you um, are you making any money? I was like, yeah, every once in a while, somebody give me five bucks or something. She's like, I support you. What's your, uh, you, how do I find you? And I was like, yeah, you probably don't want it. But. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my mom the same thing. <laughs> not, not gonna lie, my mom actually created a Twitch account and followed my channel and pops in every so often. Yeah. My mom does too. She created um, one at the SRL Grand Prix. Cause I told her about that, and she's like, "That sounds really amazing. I want to watch it." I was like, "All right." I can cheer for the Grand Prix. Oh my god! I can't hit anything. No. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it was. I honestly just knowing my mother. I love her to death, but she's a typical mother. You know, I really yeah. expected to. Yeah. You know, well, you should. If, if you're gonna do that, you should have a second job. You know. You should, <laughs> But uh, she she was supportive. She she's seen my kids. Every once in a while, I'll see my my kids pop into chat, and it's always whenever I'm saying the worst thing they could possibly hear. <laughs> and it's just like, hey, dad. And I'm just like, fuck. DSS is going to show up one day, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, as, as soon as they come into the chat, you know, I immediately uh, I immediately alter my my language, um, and I don't feel like that's not being me because I can still be me with with different. Uh, different vernacular so um but yeah she popped in one day and um she was solid i didn't even know she was there she came in as a guest because uh, she found my my facebook damn it to hell page um it, it showed up as a recommended page so she found that and she clicked uh she clicked the link and watched in facebook and you know as a guest and i had a had a text message the next day and it just said i taught you to talk better than that <laughs> just like a mother no, would yeah i have no idea at, at what point you know she came into the chat if it was me going that motherfucker shot me in the face or you know what it was i, I know it wasn't anything racist or or horribly sexual you know, not not horribly sexual <laughs> but uh i imagine it was probably you know me me ranting and raving about uh somebody shoot me in the face i mean my name is damn it to hell so I want to say nice scooter impression there for Borderlands. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's was, uh, was pretty solid. Say some more of that. <laughs> uh, that, that. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't even actually supposed to sound like scooter, but I just went with it. So. Hey, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Robotics, so bitches. <laughs> yeah, no, boxer, you're right. Playing, playing games, just playing video games is easy enough. It's the the making it successful and a uh, community building part of it that is <laughs> insanely difficult <laughs> get your rap i'd say the hardest part is is trying to be entertaining every day even on the days where you don't feel like yes. you are entertaining it but you have to for your community that that's got to be the hardest part you have bad days I, you know sometimes people I, expect I, I struggle with that somewhat consistently Yep. Yeah, and that and that's when having that community, you know, like I, I love to sit here, um, you know, when my starting soon stream is uh, screen is up and and start to see the names pop in and somebody say hey and then somebody's like oh hey you know how was your day blah 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 so that's that's when having a good community can can carry you a long way and then having good mods because they're like if you go into um, Let's just use Evil Aura for an example. His his he set the standard for his mods. You know what he expects and and how they should react to almost any given situation. Fuck. And you know I watched him yesterday run a raid, which is not his normal. You know he's normally PVP. He he'll shoot a few bullets and then look at chat like I do. Um, but there were several moments where he was not all about chat because you just can't be in the raid. You. Know? Um, and his mods keep things going. So it was, um, that's, that's where having that community and those mods can help you. If you're having a bad day or you just don't have anything to talk about, they can feed the, uh, feed the conversation. Yo, cats, how you doing? Thank you for that host. It's a cat's butt stuff raid. Mmm, slide on in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uber Ginger, thank you for the host. Right. Guys, uh, for those of you just coming into the stream and those of you that have been here the whole time, 
please do not take my uh, my inattentiveness to chat uh, personally. Unless your name is Age of Zach, I'm totally yeah. ignoring you on purpose. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we got some things going, and once this is over with, we'll get right back to you guys. Fucking love y'all. Thanks for being here. Welcome, Raiders, Estrella, Jada, Age of Zach, Age of Cleb, Cats, Uber, Ginger, guys, oh. Genghis Obi Kwan. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Welcome to the stream. Hit that multi link, exclamation multi. I'm currently doing the Chats of Osiris, which I originally thought when it was announced was called the Chaps of Osiris. And I couldn't find my monocle, so I thought I'll never be on that show. <laughs> um, I honestly thought you guys said the chaps of Osiris, and I was like, that sounds fancy as fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> King Boxer, Ooh, that's that's more of, uh, Hamburglar. So check us that's out. That's more of like a streaming one on one question, but uh, I don't have any problem pitching it to uh, to our assembled streamers here. How do you decide uh, how do you decide who should be a mod on your channel? How do you pick mods? Like, well, Let's let's open uh damn it, you specifically, how do you go about picking your mods? And then Hammy and I um, can give our answer. All of my mods are people that have either been here since the beginning or people that have have made it a point to come here for at least, you know, thirty minutes every single day. Um my my two with the exception of Rec, Rec is a mod just because she's fucking Rec. Um but wow, uh, with, that was with Truman, yeah, with Truman and JTW, those guys just showed up one day, and God love them, they've not left since. Um, and it just after a period of time, it just made sense. You know, these guys are here. They they say hello to nearly everyone that comes in and says hi. Um, so, you know, we just it just kind of something that, that organically happened. Um, someone who's willing to take the time out of their day. Holy shit, that was fun. <laughs> Somebody who's willing to take the time out of their day. To, to spend with you and your community is friendly and welcoming and just an all around nice person is is worthy of, of being a mod in your channel. I thought like if you're watching this on YouTube, yes, we're really this bad at trials. We oh yeah. <laughs> this is this is chats of Osiris, not tryhards of Osiris. Alright? Yep. Alright. Like every other stream out there. Uh but not I think that'll about wrap it up for this uh for this I interview. think it will. Uh, damn it to hell! Thank you so much for being on with us. It was an Thanks absolute for having pleasure. Me, guys. It's fucking blast, yeah, man. Guys in chat, my chat, psychotics chat. If you're not following damn it to hell, you absolutely should. We just got to interview him. He's an amazing guy. People on YouTube, his link is down in the description below. You should definitely click that and follow. Hit his heart really fucking hard and check him out sometime. Really great guy. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, for the for the second part of Chat to Osiris, you can head over to Psychotic Flaws YouTube. Also, uh, the description below, where he interviews Vibronium. Thank no, you guys so much. This is coming up next, so if you're in chat, stick around.